Hey guys, how you doing? Um, just another video really, um, more of the collection. Um, the last video I did was the, the, the Death Star components and tap turrets and that sort of thing. And I thought, bring all that together, made me realise that <laughs> if I add all my other pieces together, I've got set, I've got Y-Wings, X-Wings, TIE Fighters, all that sort of thing. So I can do a, a different video on each each craft, if you like. So. Today I'll be focusing on the X-Wings. So I've got the Studio Scale, the three Studio Scale X-Wings here. Um, the two MPC um, ones that were used are still technically Studio Scale because they were used uh, for filming and pre-production. Um, then we've got a 148th scale Bandai Moving Edition um, that was done up in the Rogue One Partisan um, scheme. And then the little tiny uh, headhunter that's I literally just fell off the shelf I forgot I had so um, we can go through each one and just um, talk about what paints I used and how they were built and that sort of thing so yeah on to the X-Wings. Although I'm showing my T65 X-Wings um, I can't do an X-Wing video without showing you this gorgeous one that you've seen the work in progress of on the uh, previous videos I've done it's Edward Francis's uh, beautiful uh, T70. Uh, I've painted this in the <coughs> um, Poe Dameron library. It's the, got the orange and white uh, paint scheme and yeah it's it's work of art the the model itself that the way he uh, he modeled this is is just superb. It's a uh, a joy to look at and I'm, I'm really really thankful that uh, Ed did this for me and passed it on really appreciate it um, yeah that looks great with the rest of the the x-wings all lined up I'm running out of room in here so <laughs> I need to um, perhaps move some more models on and uh, get some space back so that's the T70 So this is the first one we have, it's the Red 5 Studio Scale uh, Captain Cardboard Kit. This um, started off way back, was, I think it was the first Studio um, Scale X-Wing that was available to the, to the public really. It was um, <clears throat> the um, 124 Scale Captain Cardboard Kit that I think went through a number of changes, I think um, Salzo's X-Wings I think started off even as that I think and then progressed and changed into V2, V3, V4, V5, whatever. Um, but I think originally the um, Captain Cardboard was um, taken off the Icons X-Wing, I could be wrong, which was a cast off a Pyro, which is one of these, which was um, one of the X-Wings that were used in the actual uh, production. And ones that have been exploded and then parts pieced together and cast from that. So I think um, possibly it had lineage or I could be completely wrong and the Captain Carball could just be one that was, you know, made to look like the X-Wing. I think the actual profile's a lot slimmer um, and slightly different. Um, all these parts will be the same because they're cast off kit parts. But um, the profile, I think, ends up being a bit slimmer to the pyro, which is the one sitting behind here, which is um, cast from an actual original pyro X-Wing. So <coughs> this um, is replicating Red 5. Um, when I say Captain Cardboard, this is a Diego Brazo kit. <laughs> Bear with me on this. And he bought the masters or the patterns for the Captain Cardboard, Cardboard X-Wing and produced this one. So, um, yeah, this is, if you want a, a Captain Cardboard Studio Scale X-Wing, um, contact Diego Brazo. He's on Facebook and he makes this. And it's beautifully cast. It's, um, you, you know, if you just want a good, big, you know, semi-accurate X-Wing, you can't go wrong with it, really. I put a mounted hole in the back and underneath um, 
I did my best to, to replicate the the version that you see on screen as far as you go here I've done I, I, this is the one I did the videos of all the weathering and that sort of thing and then I replicated the just the wings that were left at the archives that are in a bit of a sorry state because there's nothing left of the fuselage at all it literally is just the wings and the armature showing the um, uh, motor that opens and closes the wings and you could there's a there's epoxy glue all over it. it it looks really as i say in a sad state but i kind of like that i i like to replicate the stains the knocks this the scuffs the marks of it being handled because i want it to be a replica of what is it what is sitting in the archives now not what i think it looked like on screen so that does sound hip, hip, like hypocritical of what I just said, how I wanted it to look like on screen. But this is kind of a, the best of both, really. It's got the, the fuselage of what you see on screen and then how the wings look now. So, yeah, that's the Red 5. Um, then that's that's got the static wings closed, by the way, that Red 5. And that's actually sold, so I better be careful with that. That's going to be put in the post today. Then this... Um, which is my favourite. This is the uh, Frank Cerny uh, kit that was cast directly off a screen used X-Wing. So as I said before, all the parts that were smashed up and broken when they were exploded, they were gathered together again and made up to a workable kit of an X-Wing. So yeah, this is literally cast direct off a screen used x-wing so it's really special to me this one and i did this as red 12 which you can see in the uh icons no not the icons sorry the uh, um the chronicles book and there's a really good shot of the um the red tw uh the yeah, red 12 at an angle so it's like it's it's tilted like that but it's a heavy thing it's a solid fuselage um frank did produce a hollow one, but um, this was the solid cast hull. So it's that one, and then the one at the back is the again lovely one twenty four scale um, Nexus Red Two. So Nexus um, produced quite rare to get actually, really difficult to get hold of. Quite rare kits. Um, a kind of idealized version of the X-Wing. So it had more details in the inside under the wings. It had parts where the fuselage, uh, the, sorry, the droid strip um, has bits that you can lift open and close. So underneath there, you've got some details. The, underneath the, the, the droid, you've got um, more details there. The pilot was different. And the wings open and close on this one as well. It's got a, a full armature running in side and again that could be mounted at the back or underneath and that started off as blue one that was the original x-wing <clears throat> i think they realized that the blue didn't appear on screen correctly or something so they had to repaint the blue as red and that's where the red um x-wings came from um and that went on to Rogue One, which is quite nice because I did the, the blue one on that and they sort of went back and paid respect to the original X-Wing that was built. But uh, yeah, this is the three studio scale ones I've got. So we'll move on to the smaller ones next. So yeah, these are these, these smaller X-Wings. This is the Bandai 148th scale moving edition X-Wing that um, is quite quirky. It's not something that I usually go for this moving malarkey <laughs> there's three buttons on the front there one turns it on and off and then the wings close which makes a horrible whirring sound but that's fine i suppose <laughs> and then you've got the blaster noises and then the wings open up again but i probably pressed that about three times in the history of the whole kit so it's not something that i i'm interested in but i was more interested in the paintwork but Bandai are just amazing with their detail on their models. They're, they're just a shame they're just so small because 
they look fantastic, really. Um, well, this this is one forty eight scale, so it's it's half studio scale, it's half one twenty four scale, so it's not far off. But um, it, I wish they did more at this scale. If they produced a big one forty eight scale Y wing, it would be fantastic. I'll be all over that. But uh, yeah, this is done up as the Rogue One um, partisan black and white scheme. So uh, yeah, that was a just a bit of a fun. I think I did that during lockdown, actually. I think I was just painting that at home. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the 148. And then this little old thing, this is a 170 second scale Z95 Headhunter or something. That was, a, that was from the old Starship modeler days where you could buy kits on the store there. Well, you probably still can, but uh, I haven't been on there in ages. Then we've got the MPC X-Wing that was um, that was on the prop store auction. Um, I think that's been another one of my videos. I think you've all seen that enough. That was on the Archive X competition. And then lastly, we've got the um, current one that I'm working on. That's the, um, uh, again, MPC group build prop store auction again. So yeah, these, um, these are my uh, my X-Wings. <laughs> Thank you so much for for liking and commenting on my videos, guys. It's, it really gives me a boost and um, builds up the old confidence to get the mojo flowing and and and, and paint really and get get at the um, get at the desk and get the airbrush fired up because uh, sometimes you just don't feel it and having you guys comment and um, you know liking and messaging me and that sort of thing really really helps so appreciate it guys and uh and that's it for today off to watch the book of boba fett now cheers